In other news, amidst stalling ceasefire talks with Gaza-based terror group Hamas, Hamas officials in Gaza calling for Palestinian days of rage against Israel at flashpoint locations across the region. Hundreds of Palestinians across the West Bank and East Jerusalem answering the calls from Hamas to engage in violent conflict with Israeli forces. Just outside of Shechem or Nablus over the weekend, for one, Palestinians on a hillside lighting fires and whipping stones at Israeli forces who responded with crowd dispersal measures. That said, not all demonstrations are including violence per se. Several protests as well as violent riots popping up in apparent support of the 70-some Palestinians facing eviction in the Jerusalem neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah over decades of refusal to pay rent. A long ongoing and now repeatedly delayed legal dispute used as fodder for Hamas to incite violence, like the 4,000 rockets fired into Israeli civilian communities from Gaza during the conflict between Israel and Hamas last month. In any case, pro-Palestinian and anti-Israel protests, including a marathon through East Jerusalem and daily demonstrations in the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood, as well as outside Israeli police headquarters. Israeli police, for their part, responding with arrests and riot dispersal methods, including spraying skunk water, flash grenades, and sponge-tip bullets. Several arrests in particular sparking widespread controversy, however. Israeli police detaining and then releasing Palestinian twin activists Muna and Mohammed El-Kurd, who between them have roughly two million followers on social media. Muna El-Kurd specifically detained in her home over alleged participation in riots. Then meanwhile, in a second controversial incident, Al Jazeera reporter Givara Buderi forcefully detained shortly after covering a sit-in protest. Her cameraman's equipment destroyed and her arm broken during the altercation, prompting a rare rebuke from the Foreign Press Association. Israeli police and eyewitness accounts alleging that Buderi was arrested for refusing to identify and then assaulting officers. Buderi, however, rejecting the accusations, claiming to have been refused the opportunity to get her press pass from the car, and video of the arrest showing Buderi wearing a clearly marked press vest.